Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be showing you how you can use Obsidian Canvas. So the whole point of Obsidian Canvas is to visualize your ideas, brainstorm, lay out your ideas in an infinite space to do research. It's going to look something like this and you can organize your ideas and lay out your plans and we're going to be learning how we can do all that. So head over to obsidian.md slash canvas and go ahead and download Obsidian. It's completely free for personal use. However, you do need a license for commercial use so go ahead and check that out if you want to use it commercially. You can have a 14 day trial and we're going to be explaining how you can use it to benefit for your business and so on. So without any further ado download and install it. it should be straightforward and launch the application. Once you have Obsidian downloaded it's going to look something like this so if this is your first time using it then go ahead and create a new vault. Pick a name for your vault. So I'm going to call this test vault one and then you can specify a specific location and click create. And now we have our first vault to get started. We need to enable a few extensions. So click on the little, so click on the little settings button right here and then head over to plugins. You can read into the core plugins that we have enabled and enable some if you require them. But the most important thing is that you keep canvas enabled. So the next step will be to open a new folder and to do that you need to hit command and then P and in the search bar you can select a command so we're going to select canvas create new canvas. You can edit your canvas name by double clicking on the untitled default title that it gives it and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it canvas. So I'm going to call it canvas 101. So now our canvas is fully created and all we got to do is add some stuff into it. And the four main type of things that we can add are notes, cards, media and external links. So the way we're going to be adding a note into our canvas is by right clicking and then clicking on add note from vault and then you can select which folder you want to be adding your note from. So we're on canvas 101, I'm going to press on that and there we have our note that's already been added. But as you can see our note is currently empty so how can we actually create a note and then add it into our canvas? And the way to do that is actually pretty simple, hit command P again, hit command P again and then write note. So it's going to say create note to the right or create a new note. So I'm going to choose create a new note and from here you can edit your note however you like. So I'm just going to add something for example books to read and then edit my note further. So now we have our note ready. As you can see it's already been added to the vault. You can close this tab right here and then if you right click and add note from vault you can see it right here. So we click on it and now we have our note ready. You can delete this old one and then if you want to edit this note further. So as you can see it's currently highlighted by gray. You can click on it and see this button right here where it will change the color to however you like it to be. I'm going to put it on blue and then keep it right here. You can zoom in and out by holding control and then moving your mouse wheel however you want it to go. You can also adjust the zooming using these plus and minus buttons as you can see right here. And then you can move around with and then if you want to navigate around your canvas just how I'm doing then hold the space bar and then move however you like. So let's say you have notes that are related to each other and you want to connect them together. So the way to do that is you can add the note that you want to connect from vault. So we, for example, we're going to use this one and then position it however you like. If you hover your mouse over this note, you will see a little button just like this one. So click on it and then drag until you can connect it to the next note. And just like that, you can create a little visualization that implies that your notes are connected. And if you want to label this, you can double click on the arrow and then a little button will show up where you can title it whatever you like. So this is a little example that I just made, but you can get the idea. You can also choose a color for this one. So let's choose green. If you want to know these little things that help you navigate through your canvas, all you have to do is just click on this help button right here and it will show you all the shortcuts that there is to know. Now as you can see the cards will stay and remain in the vault and if we do like this sort of connection then they are not actually connected in the vault but they are only alive in the canvas. If you want to create a kind of note that only stays in the canvas that's where cards come in. Now you can see the option that says drag to add card. You could click on it once if you want or drag and drop it wherever you like and just like that we have just added a note that is only alive in our canvas. You can connect it to different notes or to different cards if you like to and you can just edit it by double clicking inside it and then adding whatever you like. 
And as you can see, we can connect the cards to our notes and these will only be here in the canvas. And if you check the rest of the vault, then they will not have any cards whatsoever. Now for the next thing, we're going to learn how we can add media into our canvas. If your media already lives in the vault, you can right click and then add media from vault and then select where it exists if there is. Now our vault is kind of new and we don't really have any media in it yet. However, if the media does not really exist in the vault, then all you have to do is just to grab the picture or video that you want to add and then drop it and then drop it inside your canvas. So for example, I'm going to be dropping this one and you can resize the image however you like. It is related to my topic on the books. So, so I'm just going to keep it here and then use it for later on. Now, if a lot of sections are really closely related, another thing that you can do is that you can select all the sections that you want and then right click on them and create group. You can name this group one if you want and then hit enter. And now anything that you do, they will be treated as a group. And if you rearrange them, all of them will be moved together. Similarly to codes and cards, you can also extend any connection that you want and connect it with the media using the arrows accordingly. That will be all on the Obsidian canvas for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future videos.